Hey there, everyone. This is Anthony Avina, and welcome to uh, day five of my February vlogs. Uh, keeping up with those uh, vlog every day uh, goal I have this year. Uh, we're only two months into it so far, but it's going well, I think. Um, still uh, uh, pretty happy about uh, the way things are going right now with uh, the books and the channel and uh, friggin' one of my favorite YouTubers, you know, following me uh, on Google+. Plus. Uh, if you don't know who that is, um, I talked about it yesterday in my vlog, but uh, Taryn Southern followed me on Google+. Plus. And it was just a nice little, you know, reassurance that, you know, gave me a confidence boost uh, that I'm, you know, putting myself out there on YouTube and stuff. Uh, the interesting thing was I didn't even realize, but uh, it wasn't even like she uh, followed me based on uh, the her followers, because I hadn't followed her yet on Google+. Plus. Um, plus, she only follows, like, a little less than 2,000 of her 22,000 followers. So, um... Yeah, it's pretty cool, and I don't even know how she saw my profile um, or why she followed me, but I think it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's a confidence boost. So it was pretty awesome. Uh, so, anyways, uh, that was yesterday. A good day. We're over a hundred copies downloaded of Nightmare Wars Book One right now, uh, which is awesome. Uh, we are at the fifteen hundred mark uh, for views on this channel. Um, so yeah, it's a it's really cool and. Uh, I can feel, you know, times are changing, and for the better, hopefully. So, let's see if uh, we can keep that going. I thought today I'd do a combination of two different tags. Uh, there was the YouTube survey of 2013. I never did that last year. And then there's a tag called Raised by Wolves. Um, the YouTube survey is five questions long, and the Raised by Wolves tag is 10 questions long. So this is the YouTube survey slash raised by wolves tag video. Alright guys? So we'll start with the YouTube survey and then we'll move on to the raised by wolves. So here we go. This is for you guys so you can see into my mind to see how I think. Uh, see who I am. So here we go. Question one. What's your biggest fear? Um, well, besides having a phobia about, you know, s s tight quarter spaces and bugs of all kinds, spiders, snakes, all that nasty stuff, um, my biggest fear would probably be, uh, you know, being alone. Um, you know, not, not, you know, I can hang out on my own, but I'm talking about, like, just in life generally. Um, not having anyone in your life, you know, I, uh, I know that feeling of loneliness and, uh, definitely don't want that to be the rest of my life. So that's part of the reason why I actually started YouTube was to put myself out there and hopefully, you know, maybe meet some people, uh, you know, get, not just to get my books and my brand out there, but to get to know people in general. And, um, I'm feeling a little more confident nowadays, uh, a little easier to talk to people uh, in public. Um, I was I was great talking in public when I was younger, uh, but when I got injured and sick and I was pretty much taken out of social life altogether, um, that changed. So I'm starting to get my confidence back a little bit. So yeah, that would be my biggest fear. Question two, how did you find out Santa was for real? Um, well, I kind of grew up believing in Santa, and then like a normal kid, you know, kids talk, they, teachers talk, you know, pe adults who think you should know better talk, and, uh, yeah, when I was like 10, I think, I, you know, was told Santa's not real, uh, and it didn't stop me from, you know, loving the holiday, I, I didn't like, you know, cry or throw a tantrum or anything, when most kids find out Santa's not real, I just, you know, Santa's a cool, you know, character in my mind, and still to this day, Santa's not real, but, well, hopefully I didn't spoil that for some kids watching, um, but, yeah, I know Santa's not real, but it's still fun, it's part of the holiday, it's, you know, tradition. Um, question three, what's the best idea you've ever had? I actually, uh, recently got this great idea, 
Um, one of my favorite stories uh, or series of all time is The Dark Tower by Stephen King. It's an eight book series so far. Uh, well, he finished the series, but he added one more book recently. Um, anyways, I love that book not only for the main core story, but he also managed to pull characters from some of his other books into the story. And I thought, you know, how, what kind of story could I create using my characters that I've made? And so I have come up with an idea to combine two major series. My Nightmare Wars series and The Legend of Electric Fusion. And I'm not going to reveal how yet because I'm still right working on those two series separately. But eventually, I'm going to bring those two stories together and create one core story. One core... Uh, uh, it's going to be my magnum opus, pretty much. So, um, yeah, that's the greatest idea I've had uh, so far. I, I'm really excited to write it, and I can't wait to share it with you guys uh, once those other two series have kind of run their course. So, um, question four, most embarrassing thing your parents have ever done? <laughs> um, I'm not going to name which parent it is, um, because or which relative even. Um, because, you know, I'm not going to call anyone out, but one of my parents uh, has a tendency to bring up embarrassing um, childhood memories uh, of mine, uh, not just to other family members, but sometimes out in public without realizing it. And, uh, you know, they think it's hilarious, and it, you know, it is, but, you know, it's also embarrassing a little bit when, uh, He's telling this, or they're telling this story, and uh, I kind of just gave it away, huh? Anyways, um, yeah, that's embarrassing, but it's not like the end of the world. It's just a little, you know, cheeks flush red and stuff, so. Um, finally, question five. This is the last question for the YouTube survey. Uh, if you were only allowed to pick one career for the rest of your life, what would it be? And that's super easy. That would be, <clears throat> whatchamacallit? be a writer. Uh, I'm, that's my goal. That's m what I feel is my destiny is to be a writer. Uh, I love it. It's what I get the most joy out of. So that's my goal. That's what I want to do. And that is the end of the YouTube survey. Excuse me for a second while I get a drink out of my handy dandy Optimus Prime Cup courtesy of Universal Studios. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Anyways, that was the YouTube survey. Now let's do a run through through these uh, this raised by wolves tag. All right. Question one: What kind of car do you drive? I don't drive, so that's pretty easy. Uh, we ride around in uh, uh, Pacifica uh, when we go around places, but I don't drive it personally. But that's the car we use. Um, question two: What are your favorite clothes? Well, you know, mostly I wear screen tees, obviously, you guys always see this. Um, but besides screen tees, I like one of my favorite, like, nice kind of clothing uh, options is actually uh, the old 40s style clothing, the really nice polo shirts with the uh, stripes and stuff. Not, like, stripes everywhere, but they're, like, there's. I have a black shirt. Hold on, I have it right here. See, this kind of shirt right here. This is one of my favorite kind of styles. I get that, it's in slacks, and I have my old fedora that I wear. Uh, it's pretty cool. That's one of my favorite eras in history. Um, so, from the 20th century, I should say. So, yeah, I love those kind of clothes. Uh, question three uh, Where would you like to visit if you had the chance? Um. You know, there's obvious choices like Hawaii. Um, I've never been to, like, the Disney World in Florida and everything. On New York City, I'd love to go to. Um, if I had to pick countries, uh, foreign countries, there'd be Australia, uh, Italy, uh, France, and uh, the UK. Those are the four places abroad I'd love to visit. I'd also love to visit Canada eventually. Uh, Mexico, obviously. Um, so, yeah. Those are the places I'd like to visit if I was given the chance. Uh, question four, cup half empty or half full? 
Well, despite all the crap I've gone through in my life, uh, despite the, you know, the hardships and everything, I look at life as half full. Um, just because, you know, despite everything that happens, there's always hope on the horizon. As long as you have hope in your life, um, I believe life is half full. Um, the hard thing is when, you know, the unfortunate people who have that hope taken away from them, um, it's hard to see the world is half full, and I understand that I've been to that point before. Uh, but if you're lucky enough, you can find hope again. And uh, that's what I did. What was that? That's weird. I didn't see a car go by. I don't know if you noticed a few a couple seconds ago, but a little light right there. There's a little silver light that kind of bounced around. And I was looking around to see if there was a car that drove by or someone with something shiny. You know, see if it was a reflective thing. I can't tell for sure, obviously. That's But, yeah, I believe in the paranormal, so that was kind of interesting. Um, question five. Where would you want to retire? Well, I need to get my career going first. Uh, but if I had to retire, I'd love to stay in California. Southern California is my home. Uh, I'd love to stay either in the L.A. area or maybe San Diego. Those would be great to live, like, right on the beach in San Diego. That would be so cool. Um, but, yeah, California is where I belong. That's my home. Um, question six, favorite time of the day? Uh, I know, here come the jokes for you, from some of you guys. It's not lunchtime. It's not dinner time. It's not breakfast. Um, believe it or not. I don't re have my life revolving around food and what time I eat. Um, I actually enjoy doing other things than that. Uh, my favorite time of day is actually getting on here lately to talk to you guys. Um, it's kind of liberating to be able to talk every day to a camera and have you guys come watch the video and everything. It's really cool. Um, so that's my favorite time of day. That and writing and playing games and stuff. That's my favorite time of day. And, of course, nighttime when I uh, watch shows with my family. That's really cool. Um, question seven. Where were you born? I was born in Fontana, California. Uh, that's Southern California, for those of you who don't know. Fontana, um, you can look it up. It's, there's a That's where one of the big races for NASCAR goes down. Um, it's a mostly Hispanic area. Um, it's gotten a lot nicer over the years when I was first born uh, it wasn't the nicest uh, place but there's definitely been some growth and stuff since then so it's actually gotten nicer um, question eight what is your favorite sport to watch well as most of you who watch my videos know I'm not a big sports guy I'm not really into sports but when I do watch them uh, it's usually basketball, NBA basketball, and hockey. Um, hockey I prefer in person, obviously. It's more exciting that way, but I will watch some of the games on on NHL. Um, and, uh, of course, I'm always, my whole life I've been a Lakers fan. I'm not a Kobe Bryant fan, so it's hard to root for um, him. And I don't really watch them that much with him there now. Or, he's always been there. Uh, but... Um, Anyways, when he leaves, I'll definitely be able to be the full-time Laker fan I was before. So, yeah. Question nine. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, exactly. I 100% believe in ghosts. I believe in the paranormal. Um, I believe that things in life, um, stories, legends, are all based on some sort of fact. They're, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, vampires are real. They roam the earth. Um, but the legend of the vampire had to start from somewhere. So, I mean, someone wasn't just walking down the street and said, oh, there are undead people who have fangs and drink blood. You know, it has to be on, based on some sort of, you know, fact somewhere down the road. So, that's, I do believe in ghosts. I definitely believe in ghosts. And question 10, the final question of this long, long ass video is, do you buy any luxury items that are, regret or enjoy and why uh, I don't really buy luxury items that often or really ever um, I had bought the um, Xbox 360 years ago and it was fun I love it I don't regret it at all um, 
I've gotten a couple of nice watches uh, a couple months ago. You can see Charlie. Where's Charlie? He's scratching his uh, back. Charlie's here. Come here. Come here, Charlie. It's Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. I love you, too. Um, but, yeah, I haven't bought any luxury items, but a couple of nice watches. I don't regret them. Um, I don't regret buying luxury items because I don't buy it that often. So, um, since I don't buy it that often, uh, I think, you know, once in a while to treat yourself is, you know, nice. So, yeah. That's it for me, guys. That was the final question. That was the YouTube survey slash Raised by Wolves tag video. Oh, no. It was a long one, huh? Uh, me and Charlie are going to go uh, chill now. I'm probably going to make a video for the On Request channel after this, so go check that out on my other channel. Uh, it's supportive for the magazine, so I'd appreciate it. Um, and that's it, guys. I'm going to get going. This is me, Charlie, and Sammy sleeping over there. Um, but this is Anthony Avino. Oh, question of the day. Sorry. Um, in the comments below, tell me, do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in the paranormal? Leave those comments down below. Uh, please like, share, comment, and favorite on this video. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I appreciate it. Um, please spread the word. Uh, also, today is the final day of the Nightmare Wars Book 1 free book sale. Uh, you can get the whole book for free. It's one of my longest books. And it is also usually $8 when it's not on sale. So, get your free copy today. Today is the last day. Uh, please, you know, spread the word. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow, all right? This is Anthony Vina signing off. Peace out, guys.